telecom infrastructure is undergoing a significant transformation driven by advances in 5G, edge computing, and artificial intelligence. Fernando Castro Cristin, Vice President and General Manager of Telco Infrastructure at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, joins us to explore how strategic partnerships and tech innovation are reshaping network evolution. Fernando, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the opportunity. You know, I was wondering, how is HPE's partnership strategy delivering value to telco operators? So partnership is part of, uh, a, uh, of HPE's DNA. And uh, of course, in the telco space, it's even uh, enhanced by the longevity of the partnership that we have. I'm talking about the NAPs, of course, uh, Nokia, Ericsson, Samsung, Mavenir, all the different NAPs that are, are key players in the market, but also the technology providers like Intel, AMD, ARM, NVIDIA. The, it's a key link that we have to create in between all these technology partners. And to make sure that this is relevant, we also include partnership with the customers themselves. We have a set of customers that are extremely eager to provide their feedback and to partner with us into the engineering of our own platforms and and this is really the eco, um, the ecosystem that we want to build so partnership it's a it, it's a it's a big world it's a big world and a big world sorry um, but it is something that we are passionately driving it's uh, something that is key element of our strategy we put resources, we invest in it, and that's really important to make sure that we are at the end relevant to the market, relevant to the customers, and that we do what has to be done and not what we believe only us that is the right thing to do. How is HPE continuing to invest in transformation and differentiate itself to maintain a competitive edge in telco? Investments is of course needed in the in every in every segment. Telco, it's investing in the people and in the technology, of course, um, but also on the processes. It's a, it's an old thing, people, process, and, and and products, but it's it's a, even more real in the telecom space. We have regulations. We have people that have to have a very specific knowledge. So we, we invest in the people. We have just chief technologists that have been in the telco space since ever, I would say, uh, that are providing their knowledge and keep evolving into the, into the new technologies that, we are, uh, that we're seeing in the market. We also invested massively in a lab, and that lab is there to support our partners. I was mentioning earlier the, the importance of the partners. So we are doing certifications for the partners. We are accelerating the innovation uh, with the technology vendors from, from having more throughput to uh, generate less uh, consumption and to have uh, the right platforms at the right performance. Uh, we do that with all the scope uh, needed in Telco from NEPS compliancy, thermal chambers to put the systems at the edge of what they they can deliver and all that is driven by the knowledge we get from our partners and and key customers and their requirements so it's an evolution that is never ending the investments we're doing are on the people on the technology but it's driven by the partners that we have and the customers that are we consider as partners too and Fernando, can you share HPE's view of the evolutionary journey from appliance RAN to VRAN to open ORAN and now AI in RAN? So on top of just the, uh, learning the alphabet, um, the, the AI RAN, uh, it's, it's a journey. It's a journey. Um, but you mentioned open run, V run, etc. All that is an evolution. At the end, what do the operators need? They need to uh, remove complexity as much as possible, reduce operational costs, and find revenue streams. That's in general. Why v, v run, open run, and AI run at the end will help there? Well, there is a need to differentiate. 
uh, versus the uh, OTT, so the over-the-top players. There is a need to be able to have influencing applications that will drive revenue by processing the data at the edge. There is a need to make sure that the network APIs that are the, the, the latest news are well controlled, well managed, but most importantly also provide regulations and security guarantees. So all that is a journey and AI run and our investment in the AI, AI run uh, alliance is to make sure that we build that in the right way. And um, Open Run is the structure that will allow the operators to start building a run infrastructure that will not just deliver what has to be delivered, which is the access to the radio, but also will start transforming itself as being an IT modern, modern secure IT uh, environment that will host applications and those applications through AI will be able to generate revenue. And if you want to have AI in your run, you cannot do it with a traditional way. You have to do it in a data center mode. An open run is the step to, for, uh, to, to be able to execute that in the future. So open run is key, not for itself, but for the future and for the implementation of AI run and to learn how to make sure that this is compatible with the main goal, which is providing access to the run. Well, Fernando, thank you for sharing your insights with us today. Thank you very much.